It's sunrise on the Platte River in south central Nebraska, and it is unseasonably cold. Ice has formed in the river overnight. A fresh dusting of snow covers the banks. It can't be very pleasant for all the birds that have paused here on their migration northward. They've just spent the winter on the Gulf of Mexico, warm places like that. But they're here in the thousands. Well, they're here in the tens of... No, they're here in the hundreds of thousands. And that especially applies to the Sandhill Cranes. Every year at this time, you can find about 450,000 Sandhill Cranes along Nebraska's Platte River. They stop here on their migration northward to fatten up and wait for things to melt a little bit further north. Normally, it looks something like this. But this year? This year, a very nasty winter storm decided to spread its way across the middle of the U.S. And it hit as far north as the Platte River Valley in Nebraska. It was cold and miserable. But it didn't really seem to affect the cranes much. They just kept dancing in the fields like they always do. Sandhill cranes are one of the oldest bird species in the world, and their fossils have been found here in Nebraska that are 2.5 million years old. The cranes have been passing over this valley for longer than our species has been alive to watch them. And there is no better place to watch them than here along the Platte River. Though it was still cold, the storm had passed and the sun started to pop through. But it was late in the day and the cranes all headed back to the river to roost for the night. And you know, that's when it hit me just how many sandhill cranes there really are here. I watched them fly to their roosts in a steady stream for over 15 minutes. And even after the sun went down, they were still coming. Nearly half a million sandhill cranes. And sunshine or snow, they've been coming to the Platte River for thousands of years. Long may they fly. <laughs>